Hello everyone, welcome back. It's another edition of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. I am Katiana, and we are back. It is... Oh boy. Busy day. Busy, busy, busy day. So I have just swapped out the box from the basement for our emeralds. There are 51,000 emeralds. I think that's going to run for a little while. Just a hunch. I think 51,000 may take that pick a moment or two. Just a moment or two. To, to process that many emeralds. So what I want to do is I want to swap out the emerald lens down there for the one that's going to bring me more diamonds because right now I don't have a lot of diamonds. So what I'll do is have the diamond lens in there for a while and then basically move the two lenses back and forth um, between, uh, between the two. So I need a cyan lens. I have crystal, I have white, I do not have cyan. Uh, do I have cyan? I have light blue, I have a cyan petal. Can I color it with that? No. Oh, I probably need to make it into a powder first. We have got so much to do tonight. I went right into the stream, right into the game, because we just have so much to do. And there's just not enough time. Just simply not enough time. Okay, so we're going to swap out Emerald Lens for Cyan Lens. And what that's going to do is going to increase our percentage chance of getting diamonds. So hopefully this is going to start getting full of diamonds. Let's do this. Let's plop that down. No, I don't want you. box with me. So I just refilled the uh, sulfur once again. Sulfur is becoming an issue. We simply do not have enough. So I definitely need to get this sulfur farm back up and running if at all possible. Um, I deliberately left that empty so that I could bring the diamond box back. We'll put that on there. And then let me find where it has gone. There it is. We'll take that diamond box back. Because it already has the upgrades in it. It's already locked for diamonds. My diamonds moved. Now why do I have redstone over there? What did I take out that was the Oh my gosh. Alright, well I messed that up. That's okay. We got more redstone ore. How many things of redstone ore do I have now? That one's full. I've got, oh my gosh. I've got I got so much stuff. This this storage system is just It's hell. My my storage system in here is absolute and complete hell. I would have done it so differently and and prepared it better. Yeah, it, it could have been done much, much better. Anyway, so the first thing I want to do, oh, first I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put that in there. Put that in there. All right. First 
thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come down here. I have not touched this all day. We have 361. I'm thinking we're going to have enough to do two ingots worth if I have over 360. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we're going to have enough. I deliberately did not touch it this morning. I didn't touch it. I wanted just to let it pile up. And boom. Lots and lots and lots of ingots. In you go. 76. Boom. And boom. And ladies and gentlemen, with that quest turn in right there, Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen check marks. We only have one left. <laughs> and that's on the assumption these two don't give me check marks. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. That is a big deal. Very big deal. Put that away. Put that away. Now this is also a very big deal. I'm going to head to the power plant. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Daytime, you're getting 100% light level. How are you doing here with what? See, you're not getting anything. So let's do this. Let's take you out, you out. Let's give you this. Let's see. See if that helps. I don't know if it'll help. I'm hoping it will help. Are you fully charged? You are. So I can take that off and put that away. So it doesn't need to be doing anything anymore. Dang it. We're doing in pretty good shape, considering this is currently only being powered by the one solar panel. That's actually doing pretty darn good. Um, that's not bad at all. I'm, I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. So I'm hoping... Which one of these needs to be an output? That one needs to be an output. Okay, so I had the settings wrong on this thing, which is why it wasn't working. Good freaking God. <sighs> Alright. We'll let you have the tier 6 for now. And then we'll take these two back to put on the roof again for now and I have lost my lever I don't know where it has gone uh, let's put the four here and then let's how are you doing you're all doing fine let's do 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 Let's go ahead and put one over here. What I need to do is start leveling up like all of those solar panels, like across the board. Everybody needs to get leveled up um, eventually. Good. So first thing I need to do is I need to make some chemical compound. 
What am I missing to be able to make that? I need mana glass. I can do that. I hope I can do that. Uh, let's actually do this first. We'll go down here. Restock my wood piles. One out. And where's this? Okay. do we're gonna get a dose of mana restocking going on because I've been using an awful lot of mana lately and that is something we do not want to run out when we need it is our mana so let me get empty the charcoal oven and restock it first. should get them restocking quite nicely. Then we'll come down here and we will refill the oven. So much coal, I really should get a pulverizer set up to grind my coal or make blocks of coal and automatically feed it into those. I wonder if I can get a power source that would do that down here. Because then I would basically have virtually infinite mana because Good lord, I have like 200,000 coal. It's ridiculous the amount of coal I have. Um, I just need to process it into coal and then block it into blocks of coal for the dropper to use. more power cells made, I can set that up pretty easy, I bet. Alright, there's that. Here is my light you on fire, block it off. There we go. Okay, so we'll put that in there. We'll put that away. Then we can run over here and we're going to make some mana glass. So tonight's goal is going to be to get our lapis and our nether quartz stations up and running so that we have all five of the materials that can be processed with our fortune 5 pickaxe processes going. So those are just so great because they do not require any power, they just go. And so I can just have them up and running 24 seven, they will be processing material. And so I want to get the, the, I have three of those five materials are currently running. 
I need to get the other two moving and then we will be good to go. All right, so here's this, I wanna do that. Okay, so now that I should be able to make more of. So that, that, no, I don't want two of them. This and this and that. that in here do this okay I'm not gonna bother with the other one at the moment I'm going to put the ash in here I've got to figure out a use for all this ash I've got so much okay so then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do I think I need like, I, that's not right. I, I'm estimating how much I need here. How many do I have in here? I've got eight in there. So I have enough to do four. So I need to make two pickaxes to put the enchantments onto, which we did that yesterday. We got our ice dragon steel and we went and got our fire dragon blood so we can make fire dragon steel. So we got that part taken care of. The next step then will be to make two more fortune five vengeance pickaxes, take the enchantments off of them, and then move those enchantments over to our new pickaxes and then add whatever other enchantments um, we have available in our um, library to make them you know work better so you know efficiency etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. why are you no worky Hello? Oh, it's probably, I've got too much sodium hydroxide. Why are you out? You should not be out. down Do I have some empty cells one I, I want to pull some of that out and see if it'll transfer in because there wasn't enough room for it to fill with the minimum required. I've had that little bug before. It's a very annoying little bug. Okay, so no. There's that. Alright. Hopefully this will work now. And I will be able to get my... Okay, now it's working. Okay. Because I need majestic ingots both for the vengeance pickaxe and for making the pickaxes we're going to move the enchantments onto. So that's why I went ahead and got started on that part yesterday as well. So 
And now there is two here. There is 12 here. So if I just leave one, wait, I didn't see it was still in progress of making another one. here and I get some sticks. Generally can't sticks. And I come over here, I'm gonna put some hummus down because we can never have too much methane in our machine. Okay, so we're gonna start with a steel pick and we want the this one. And we need 5,000 methane to make it. And there we can make the dragon steel. Then right next to it is the ice. Exact same recipe, but we're using ice dragon steel instead. And why don't you want to work? Because you have not enough thing there. All right. Boom. Okay. So we have our fire and we have our ice. So we have our we can put the extra ingots away. We have what we need there. Where did I put? I thought I made some majestic ingots already. I did get one redstone singularity today. So we are good there. I thought I had some, but I apparently do not. That's okay. We will be fine. Okay, so if I want to make the vengeance pickaxe, which is right here, I need an majestic component. And remember, we're making two. I need four. I have exactly enough. Woo! Okay, so I need iron. One, two, three, four. I'm going to need luminescence, which I can't spell. Oh, I have exactly two of those left, too. Please! Living on the edge here. Oh, we're out of black. Hmm. I can do this with one, that gives me a black. I can put this with one, that gives me a black. Downstairs and grab this, and we need black dye. Okay, how about ink sack? That's the one I can make with just three across the top. Mm -hmm. So then I can use that and that to get the rest of that. 
And then I can do this to get two of those, that, and that to get me two majestic components. So we have that. Then we have to come over here, and then we need our red. Uh, red, 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 red. There's five. There's four. back here. I will say this at least has had a chance to fill up. So should we need more diamond promise acceptors? Oh please don't let us, let us need any more right now. Uh, this at least has had a chance to catch up and refill. So I at least can make a few diamond promise acceptors as needed. I should probably should just start making them you know, make, like, have one going at all times, going, making one, but then I would drain that down again, and then I may need it for something else, so I'm, like, I'm torn on whether I want to be using it to be making, or if I get more of those setups going, I, I just, I can't decide what the best thing to do is. Okay, so there's that, I'm gonna grab sticks, Okay, and this is made in Blacksmith's Workshop, and we're also going to need a block of diamonds. So we're going to head back over to Ore Processing, we're going to jump over here. Grab two of those. Now it may take a bit for this to replenish. Oh, it's doing fine. Okay, so here, here. Oh, dark stick, not regular stick. Dark stick. We got it. Not a problem. Okay, so here is one of those, and I am missing a hammer. Oh, I need a cop burner. Do I have a burner? them over here. I'm actually going to have to make a burner? Really? Wow, color me shocked. I am actually going to have to make a burner. bottom plank wood combine all three of these together it'll have enough durability to get the job done what am I missing 
using. Oh, it's 10,000. We're almost there. Oh, there we go. I apparently had glanced at the wrong thing. Okay, so there's a Vengeance Pickaxe. Then we're going to get two books. And we'll go ahead and get started on Pickaxe number one. And... Keep that going. <laughs> this is going to take a bit. Alright, so we want uh, Vengeance Pickaxe and book number one. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I swear I forgot the most important part. The lens. <laughs> sort of kind of need the lens. Okay, so we're going to do this and this and hit the button. And then we're going to do this, and this, this, hit the button. Oh, good grief, how much does it take to do this? There we go. All right, one useless pickaxe. Have a nugget. Okay, so I can put the other books away for now. And there we have our fortune five and our unusing three. So now I should see, do I have any books? Since I'm headed over there, we can take any other books. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we're going to head over to the Magic Tower. Okay, so we know we know we want Fortune 5, we want Unusing 3. Now, Unbreaking 3 is one of the ones I would want to keep anyway, so that is actually working pretty nice. So we're going to head up here and we're going to look for any of the other ones that we had put on our... So we've already got Unbreaking. We want Efficiency. I'm trying to remember what else besides Efficiency I'd put on it. Mending if we have it. I do have a Power 4 Multi 4 Shot book, so I can make another Super Bow. It would be a Multi Shot 4. Mine's only Multi Shot 2. <laughs> I can actually upgrade. I can upgrade my Mega Bow in, and make a better, better one. Blows my mind. Okay, there's Efficiency 3. Let's see if we can find something better. Efficiency 1. There's another Efficiency 3. I'm going to need that for the other one, so that's good.
I did get a Blast Protection 4. I can put that on. Oh, and a Protection 4. I can put those on my armor. There's an unbreaking two. I'm gonna want an unbreaking from my other pick. Oh, an efficiency four, nice. And another efficiency three. So I've got fortune five, unusing two. We can put the venom book in here. We can put the Soulbound book in here. So I've got a Fortune 5, an Unusing 3. Okay, so we've got Fortune 5, Unusing 3, Unbreaking 3. I've got Efficiency 3, I have Efficiency 4. I've got two Efficiency 3s. Put this one back. So I got an efficiency and an unbreaking for the other one. And I still haven't figured out how to use these ancient tomes. I got to figure out how to use those because those would be very handy. Okay, so I've got four books. I did not see any mending, which is sort of disappointing, but. Because I have the unusing, the pickaxe cannot break. Um, the mending, I'm hoping the, I think the mending makes it last just a smidge longer in the, in the unit. Um, so it would be nice to be able to put mending on there, but that's just sort of a bonus to be able to do that. So I am, I am okay with that. Totally okay with that. So let us run, oh, no, 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 no. Let us not go outside and we'll go inside. All right, let's do ice for lapis. No, 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 we'll do ice for the quartz because they're both white. Let's do that. So this one will be the lapis. And let's go ahead and make this, we'll name it. So we'll say this is going to be the lapis processing axe or pick and we're going to start by giving it fortune five and then we're going to give it unusing three and then we're going to give it unbreaking three. Oh, and there went my anvil Okay, well I did get three of them on there. I didn't get the efficiency four on though. I need another anvil. Do we have another anvil? Anvil, I don't think we do actually. Anvil. We have two very damaged anvils, so maybe I can get at least some of my crafting done on these before they go boom boom. So my lapis, and I want to put efficiency four. Lovely. The lapis pick is made. All right, we are in good shape. Now I'm going to need some item ducks. I'm gonna need some servos. Where are my servos? Servos, servos, servos. Where are my servos? OK, 
Okay, I know I had some servos. Where are they? Am I just blind? I know I had some extra servos. Oh, they're right there. See, I knew I had them. Okay, so we've got servos. I've got pipes. I'm going to need basic drawers. I can use this elite bin and that ultimate bin. What else am I going to need? I'm going to need another range collector. I think what I'll do is move the bed. there. I want to make sure that they are spaced enough so that they don't run into each other. So this is one, two, three, four, five empty spaces between. So this is one, two, three, four, five, so that, and then there is one, two, three spaces, and then the other one, one, two, three, that, okay, and then we're going to have the one there, one there, the item collector goes there, then it's going to go down to another this one's going to be for lapis, so it's going to be all three of these. Why is that one all red? No idea why that one is red. Oh my gosh, this one's full already. Hang on. I have an extra. Okay, fine. I don't want them all to go in there though. I, okay, hang on. Turn that off for just a second. There. Okay. How are you doing? 13.8. You're out of diamond again. Oh my gosh. 15.9. So you're almost a 16. Hey, look, look how fast they're just feeding in there. Get any in it because the other two collect them all. It's ridiculous. Just cranking them out. 
And we'll soon have another emerald one. That is great. Okay, so we're going to have the range collector is going to sit here. It'll feed into three storage drawers there. Then all of them are going to feed out into here, 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 here. All of those will feed into the factorizer and then we'll feed into the bins on top of the factorizer. Perfect. Okay, so now we just need to make the range collector, the factorizer, the auto placer, and the mechanical user. And why did I teleport right back to where I was? Good grief. So we need to make an auto placer. So we're going to need stone. Oh, that's clay, not stone. Where did the stone go? Oh, it's over here. Does uh, access stone, 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 stone. I think that does. Dolomite does. Yeah, okay, so now I need four copper gears. Estonia crystal, and then I need a basic, which is going to be this, this, and I think this. Auto placer. Just check how are we doing on halfway there. Okay. And go put the auto placer in place. Now that's going to sit equal to the first pipe, two, three spaces in. So equal to the first pipe, one, two, three, so right here. And I still have full access to my chests there, so that is good. 
The downside is those chests are going to be in range now of the range collector. I may want to move everything in there before I drop the range collector down. I may want to move those chests to the opposite side of the room, which is probably a really good idea. Okay, so now I need to go make a mechanical user. Mechanical user. Okay, so this is going to need electrotine and red alloy. that upstairs and then we need red alloy. I've got five. Now I can make a bunch more which means I need iron. And I'm going to need more redstone. Six. I probably am going to want to upgrade these servos to at least the third level to make sure that they can keep up with the uh, lapis because lapis just goes. It goes and goes and goes and goes. Albeit that was on the first pickaxe that has an efficiency five. And this one only has efficiency four, but that's actually quite comparable to my first pickaxe, now that I'm looking at it. Because my first, first pickaxe is efficiency five. Unbreaking 2? This one has Unbreaking 3. So it has a little bit better Unbreaking, but the efficiency is one level lower. So it's actually a very good pickaxe. Very happy with that. Um, how you guys doing? Still processing good here? See, look, look at the backlog this thing. <laughs> I was telling District Spark earlier, I actually have to sort of, I have to let this one especially run out of sulfur so it has a chance to catch up on the backlog. It, this part here on the tin processes just so quickly it builds a backlog of crystals. The others I haven't noticed anywhere near so bad. Like I do not notice a backlog of crystals on the other two lines, but with tin, it just processes tin crystals so fast. This thing was like at 20 or 30,000. And I'm like, yeah, we're just going to let the sulfur run out intentionally because this thing has got to get caught up. It's ridiculous. I mean, simply ridiculous. Oh, oh my God. I do know what building I want to go to. Really, I do. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Clear a little bit of space here. Okay, so 
that takes care of the outer area. Then we need four resonating crystals. Take that. Two redstone gears. Do I have any of those? care of that, then I need a normal iron pickaxe. Then we need a dropper, which is just cobblestone with a piece of redstone, which we can totally do that. Okay, and then the other piece we need is an observer which we need cobblestone with one piece of leather quartz. Take that and the sticks away. mechanical user. Okay. Mechanical user is going to sit catty corner over this way and it's backwards. It's going to go this way. Okay, and it's going to be a use item on block, left click with the upper left slot only and it will be to always on. Now I won't put the axe or the pickaxe in there until I have all the rest of the pieces and parts set up. So we'll go back to the warehouse. And we want to put this and this and put that away. That away. Put this and this away. How are we doing here? Seven. Oh, we lost our thing. Down. Okay, so now we need the factorizer. So that should be saved over here. There we go. Okay, so that one we're going to need steel and bronze. Steel. Ooh, we're out of bronze. We have none there. I have five there, so I need to find a tank. This will work. So I need 
15 of you. the factorizer we need eight plates so we'll put you and you back and these in there Now I can go ahead and put these two enchants on the other pit. So this is going to be the quartz pick. We'll go ahead and give it efficiency three and unbreaking two. So that gets at least two of the books out of my inventory. And then we can add the other two when my pickaxe comes up. All right. So now we've got that underway. We need two orange. Oh, freaking. Tin can go away. And I need Where did my factorizer go? Of course I need more. We're always needing more. that. I need one advanced circuit. I need a Tiberium block. And two pistons. Double checking, I don't have any pistons sitting over there. I do not. And I have four wooden casings. I should probably go ahead and make some more. So I'm going to do factorizer, piston, piston, wood casing here and here. It takes care of that. So if I come over here to do factorizer and I do piston, where's my dolomite? There, 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 
pistons and I can put that away. Then I also need the motor. Four of those. Two gears. Oh, you know. motors grab the bronze is that everybody it is okay factorizer Factorizer will come here. It is attached to everybody. Then this needs to be output on the top. And the ultimate bin will go on top. And this is going to be disabled, so it is ready to go there. Okay, then we'll go home warehouse. I'm going to take this iron plate. I'm going to take half of the iron plate. Convert it to iron nuggets and then into red alloy ingots because we're going to need those to be upgrading those servos up to the third level. Just because I know from previous experience. They go fast. <laughs> the lapis really, really goes fast. Okay, so we're going to put that there. And we're going to put that there. I can't take all of the iron plates because I'm going to need some of those for the redstone things that go in the servos. So. I'll put that in there, I'll put that in there, I'll put that in there. And then we're going to look at servo. If I want to do a hardened one, I need one of those. I need some glass. Let's go ahead and make two of those. If I had to do this one, there's one. If I do this one, there's two. If I do this one, I need There's 
that. Okay, there's three. Now if I want to do this one, there's one. Ooh, I'm missing electrum plates. I'm going to need six electrum plates. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. Doing over here. We are past 10, which means I can get my second one of the Vengeance pickaxes. There you go, here and there. Lovely. And I can come over here and we can put that away, that away. The dark sticks belong downstairs. books. Okay. Q, Q. There's one. I have to wait for it to recharge. What you looking at, Mr. Crab? What you looking at, Mr. Crab? We already have a King Crab. I gotta think of a name for Mr. Giant Crab number two. Assuming that's two. Oh God, but don't tell me we got another one. I'll go look in a second. Q, Q. These go on the white one. So the white one gets fortune five. And that breaks that anvil. Put the other one on. And put I'm using on that one. Alright, now I gotta go look. My game got weird. Oh gosh. 
gosh, I, I'm just taking a tour of Crabsville because this is getting freaking ridiculous. All right, we'll come up here. So we are now at four giant crabs. No, wait, let's see. Wait, let me count here. Now, so we have... No, 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 let's... So we've got one giant crab over there. We want one huge-ass crab here. I mean, this is the biggest one I've seen yet. And we have the, the little medium one who's sitting over here. Oh, my... This I this one has been the biggest one we've gotten yet. <laughs> they get struck by lightning. <laughs> They're quarks crabs. And when when quarks crabs get struck by lightning, they will grow. And so um because our base is located uh seaside, uh we have a lot of crabs. And unfortunately, we tend to have a lot of thunderstorms. And so we have um, unnaturally large numbers of unnaturally large crabs. <laughs> and I think this one has got to be the biggest one we have. Is that skeleton shooting my crab? Or is it shooting at me? If you hit this crab, I'm going to be really mad. That would, that would be really, really bad if you hit the crab. I'll move so you don't hit the crab. Because I think you're aiming at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nothing. The, the regular crabs, I mean, the regular size ones, dance if you play music for them. On a, ju on a a jukebox or a note block or something like that, they'll dance. They do it. They do a little. They do a little, little, little side by side little dance. It's absolutely the most adorable thing ever. So the, the yeah, the crabs, the crabs will will do a dance, and then if they get struck by lightning, they start growing. And because I have so much thunderstorm activity here, I am getting these gigantic crabs, and I. We started off with just the one, which was over there the size of the building. We now have a bigger one. <laughs> I just, I, I got to tell my daughter we have a bigger crab. Oh my gosh. Although I don't think this is king crab. I think this is a different... I think the dark one over there is the one that we dubbed King Crab. I think this one has outgrown him. Oh, wait till I tell my daughter. We have an even bigger crab. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh my gosh. She's she's going to lose her mind. I I, I think I can fly over here. And hopefully stand on top of the nether portal and send her a picture of the even larger crab. Oh my gosh. It, it's hilarious. It's, this is hilariously funny. It's, it's just, yeah, so my nether portal is guarded by crabs. <laughs> I wish... They don't actually protect anything. They just sit there and, and look adorable. Which, the, the irony of this is because my daughter finds the crabs absolutely adorable, is she built them a crab sanctuary. <laughs> and I'm like, as big as they are, I think they can protect themselves. So we have this little crab, this, this little island here that she built is a crab sanctuary. And she actually built, she added a, a jukebox with a, a uh, with some uh, records here. So if we have any regular ones left, oh, we do, here. Hey, 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 little dude, little dude, come over here. No, no, dude, little dude, come over here. No, dude, little dude, come over here. Oh, 
Oh, wait, I have the music turned down because YouTube was being difficult. Uh, I forgot. YouTube was being difficult about playing music. Anyway, you'll have to trust me that when I play the music, the little, little crab will do a little dance. Although now he's moved way over here. Dude, come here. Yeah, follow me. Hey, dude, follow me. Hey, dude. Dude, come over here. I don't know how, how close in range he has to be. I wonder if he, will he dance if the music isn't visible, isn't... Oh. except my my uh, my golden lasso is holding a butterfly right now oh my gosh oh my gosh it's hilariously funny oh goodness gracious okay I got completely distracted by said the crabs distracted me which they will do on occasion oh my gosh wait till my daughter sees those this weekend oh she will lose her mind oh my gosh okay so here is the first one of these and then I need another one no not that I need another one of these need more red aloe ingot because of course I do. Because there's never enough of you. Ever! <laughs> I swear there are some episodes where I feel like that is all I do the entire episode is make red alloy ingot. I swear. That's all I do the entire episode is make that. Ugh. It's all right. We've almost we've almost got this done. That that that. There's that, and now I can make the second one of these. There's that. Come on. Third one of those. Okay, I've got my servos done. So now I can take those over to ore processing. And I can put my servos in place. Now they're gonna be, oh no wait, the servos have to be after I put the, let's see, let's do this. Servo, 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 and it's going to be random disabled. Random disabled. Random disabled. And then I will take you out. Okay, so now all I have to do is that's really within range of this one. Apparently it is. Well, great. All right. That one's empty.
I mean, it's probably okay to leave those things in there. I suppose it won't hurt anything. All right, so now all we need is the range collector block, and this will be ready to get up and running. Oh, and I need to bring the... Oh, I forgot. I need, I need one more thing of, and a servo for that. Drat. Okay. Did I have a, an item, item duct in here? No, I have fluid ducts, but no item. Okay, so I'm going to need one more item duct and a regular servo. So I need just a regular old servo, which is going to be this, which means I'm going to need more of these. This one's up here. This, this, this gives me that. And then just a regular servo is that. Okay, now maybe I have an item duct in here. Ha! I do. Excellent. Okay. So then I can come down here and find my lapis. I have 77,500 lapis. I think Lapis will probably be running for just a little while before it needs to be restocked. Just a hunch. Okay, and I want to be able to re-put a Lapis in there real quick here. So that and that. Okay. Home or processing. Okay, so then we're going to put in item duct on top of that we're going to put the <sighs> must be oh for crying out loud don't want the red one, I want the blue one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, servo on and disabled. So that should be able to start Blowing down there and setting that down. Excellent. Uh, you know, if, if I had the resources to do them better, I would when it comes to my machines. Um, I'm very new to auto crafting. So what I'm setting up is more of these um, pickaxe processing areas. So for ores that can be processed by pickaxe like diamond emerald nether quartz redstone and lapis i have taken the enchantments off of my vengeance pickaxe that has a fortune 5 unusing 3 enchantment on it i took the enchantments off of that and i have transferred it to a either a fire or a ice dragon steel pickaxe which has an a durability of 8000 and um i've added efficiency and unbreaking enchantments to them and then i have a auto block set up so it automatically is placing whatever block i'm processing a mechanical user and it's basically just automatically going whoop 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 on those it breaks them, the range collector picks up the loot drops, pulls them into either one of these two side uh, storage drawers or the crate underneath. All of these get fed into the factorizer where it gets turned into blocks and dumped into the bin on top of them. 
So this is just basically an automated way of processing these ores uh, for purposes of making extreme singularities. So I've had the th these first three stations. So this one, this one, and this one. I've had them set up for a while now. And having completed the quest for Infinity Catalysts, I am now on the quest for Infinity Ingots where I need to create, I need to get 80 Infinity Catalysts. And I thought getting seven was going to be a chore. Now I need to get 80. So I need to scale all of my ore production up by like a factor of like 100. <laughs> so instead of uh, sharing the three stations, everybody is getting their own dedicated processing station via pickaxe so i've already had emerald this one's diamond and this one is redstone this particular station here is going to be for lapis and then i am going to uh set up another station right here in this this space that's here is going to be my station for nether quartz and uh then i'll have five uh, process uh, five stations all processing these ores and blocking them for purposes of making those five extreme singularities which go into making these infinity catalysts yeah uh it's it's a concept um District Spark set up something similar to this. His is a lot more compact um, than mine. Um, and his has an auto repair function on his pick. So he actually has it getting pulled out of the mechanical user into a diamond anvil back into the mechanical user. So it basically is constantly mending itself. So he never has to touch it ever. Um, I tried to put on my first three, I have mending on it so that it extends how long it will run before I have to take it out and mend it. Um, because it has the unusing on it, it will run itself down to a durability of five. And then it will basically stop. It will, it will not let itself break. It will stop at a durability of five. And then I can take it out, I can run it over to my diamond anvil, which is in the power plant next door, heal it back up to max durability. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be hard to set up. I just have, would have to build more diamond anvils so that each setup would have its own. And because my I am such a manual process person I, the thought of building five more diamond anvils is a little more than I want to deal with <laughs> uh, yeah I district spark his he is just slightly behind me in the pack um, as far as uh, total quests so I have the entire quest book completed except for tier five wild hunt and shop rewards. Um, he has, he has a, a few of these down here. He still needs to finish. I can't remember which ones they are. There's just a couple though. He, he's, he's been focusing on working on his and catching up. Yeah. See, he is very much into automation. He loves to automate like the daylights everything out of everything which is great and it's so nice you know he could just hit a button and have a system make him a thing an ancient block i would love to be able to hit a button and make an ancient block but um his base he's got like wires running all over the place throughout his base and the the tps lag and everything on his system is starting to it's getting to the point where it's starting to drag a little bit because he's got so much equipment and wires and everything in that. I have virtually none of that drag. Um, I have a little bit of Java issue every once in a while. But I think that's just common in this pack because it's just so huge. And you have run out of sulfur, haven't you? You have, because you're completely caught up again. 
I will run and fetch you some sulfur. So yeah, I have I have very very little automated. Um, I have some. I've I've set up a few auto crafting things in, with carpenters um, for things like the memory and the um, solar panel solar panel photo those photo whatever they are mirror things that are just such a pain in the butt to craft. Um, so I have some of those things that are set up where I can hit a button and work on them, but nowhere near the level that he does. Um, and I also have got a cloche farm working up here. So I've got diamonds, emeralds, gold, um, silver, lead, and tin working on cloches up here. And then I've also got experience and uh, sulfur. Oop, I, I, I do not have the space to be doing this right now. There's too many things going on. Uh, I've got experience seeds going here because I need experience singularities. And then of course I've got sulfur going because I'm constantly needing sulfur for my ore processing area. It's I can't keep up with I I at one point I had a ton of it, but it has it has drained down to having basically none. It is ridiculous how fast I have used up my sulfur. But this is like my like I think my fifth time playing it through and I've never gotten this far before absolutely never have gotten this far before and so the fact that I, I I'm in end game and the end is literally in sight is just amazing to me so it is by far my favorite pack of, of any any modded Minecraft I have ever played. This is by far my favorite. And this particular pay playthrough, I have just learned so much new stuff. Um, I've learned new stuff about astral sorcery. I've learned new stuff about blood magic. I've learned new stuff about Batania. I mean, I've just, I have learned just oodles and oodles and oodles of things. Oh, the Void Ore Miners had never played with them before. That's That's been an all new experience there. Um, so yeah, just tons, tons of new things that I've learned in this mod pack. And I dare say I'm going to learn more before I get to the end because I, I know there's still a bunch of stuff I'm gonna have to figure out to get to the end because the volume of ores needed to complete these last items is simply insane. <laughs> I mean, it is just insane the volume of ores needed to to do this stuff. It it boggles my mind. And figure, I, I have no idea how I'm going to process it all. I seriously do not. It, there's just so much. It's, 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 a, it's a huge amount. So I'm trying to just take it like one one piece at a time and just focus on like right now I just need to worry about getting my 10 infinity ingots and so I'm just focusing on the pieces and parts I can do to get to that part and not worry about anything beyond that yet because I will lose my mind <laughs> I can't remember what I was looking for. I never remember. Okay, copper gear. Okay, I'm gonna have to make some more ingots back.
I love being able to use, take advantage of that Fortune 5. That just helps so much. Okay, what do I need for that? Glass. That, 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 and that. for that middle one. can give you your lapis processing pick. collecting things. working. Okay, so now we've got the ore getting pulled down into, hello, okay, it isn't going down there. It's all going over to here and here right now because that's probably where this, there they have the strongest pull. Now I need to have a servo here, here, and here to pull them out into the factorizer, and we will be good to go. Yippee! I think I just used regular ones, yeah. Okay. One last piece, and we'll have the first one done. Then we get to do the whole thing over again. <laughs> And of course, you're out again. After we get these two set up and running, so we have all five of them are up and running, then we'll switch back over to the class book and we will work on getting our tier two rocket launch pad made. We'll see if maybe we can knock out one or two more of the space quests. The good news is, we, since we finished Mystical Agriculture, we can start working on 
our Draconic Fusion Crafting Injector, which we only need to do four to upgrade. So that's not so bad, but we do need to have eight Wyvern cores to do that. So that's going to be a bit of crafting to get that done. So, and I don't believe I have any made yet. So that's going to be, that will be a bit of work to get all of those made. Okay, there's one, two, there's three. Then I want to make, oh, and now I'm going to be out of iron plates. Are you kidding me? First I had to convert the iron plates back into iron. Now I have to convert the iron back into iron plates because now I need them back as plates. It's always something with this game. It's always trolling me. It's always trolling me. Three, okay. One more processing. And we'll get our servos. And we'll set one here. Disabled. Set one here. Disabled. And we'll set one down there. Disabled. Okay. And it's off and running. Now we should be able to turn this back to always on. And the lapis one is good to go. I think what I'll do is I'll move this. Uh, let's put this over here. Then I need to set up five spaces in between. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, and then that one here. dig the center part out. And that goes there. Okay, and we only have four item ducks, so we're going to have to definitely make another batch of those. Why did everybody stop? That was weird. I have no idea why everybody stopped. <laughs> it was just strange. Okay. Home warehouse. Let me put everything away. Boom, boom. And boom. Boom. In there, 
need a whole bunch more item ducks. That's going to be 10 electrotene and glass. Oops. Thank you. All right. So I want item ducks and I want normal everyday item ducks with boosting mixture. I want this one and then I need some silicon. I swear these elevators hate me. Tin, three more tin. Should be three. There it is. I do get three. Okay, get that. Okay, that should give me plenty of. Why is that in there? That should not be in there. Okay. One more processing. Pop over here. So then we do that, 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 and that, 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 and then we'll have that. Okay, that is the whole structure for that one. So now we just have to build all of our pieces and parts one more time and we'll be good. Now what I'll probably have to do is line four is going to run really close to this one. So probably when I do line five and six it's probably going to have to be a little shorter. Which is fine, that's not a problem. Because I do have a lot of extra room here in the middle part. So I do lines five and six that are going to sit about here. They'll be, they'll be significantly shorter so that they don't run into, into this one. Which, that will be fine. It just, okay. Put those in there. We've got our pick for this one. Let me go put that away. And pop that off in there. Alright, so now we need to get another auto placer. Okay, so we're going to need stone, dolomite. I had made extra chests, but apparently not. No, I don't need all the woods, just a little bit. Just 
just a little bit. away I'll keep that and I'm going to need four copper gears and I'm going to be too short of that again so glad you can convert the plates back around Sir. Auto placer is one, two, three up from the pipe. So one, one, two, three, and facing that direction. And then I'm going to need my item duct. I'm going to have one sitting on top there. Probably go put this over here. Just so I'm not carrying it around. Okay, then mechanical user. Electrotein and red eye again. <sighs> okay, we're good on that. I'm out of electrotein plates, so I'm going to need this with my iron. times 5, 25 compressed titanium. So it's definitely better to make it down in the master assembler. I should see if I have some boosting mixture going and if not get that going. Okay, I do not have it going so I should probably get some going so I can use the master 2k do, 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 do. What do you mean I'm missing dark dust oh my gosh all right Thing I looked ahead so I could get this part going. I need half of those plated. I know there's a holding four, and these aren't even maxed out yet. Um, but 
having found out that my backpack is glitched with the wyvern armor i've only recently started using these as primary um sources of storage and so i need to get them um i need to get them you know moved up to up to the uh up here to the upper levels and then I'll put the enchantment on them when I get there. It's, it's, uh, as, uh, as district likes to say, uh, it's on the, it's on the to-do list. There's a lot of things on the to-do list. We have a never ending to-do list. <laughs> but yes, I know I can put a holding, I can put a holding enchantment on there and that will give me even more space. So... Fortunately, I've been very lucky, and I've gotten a total of three of the uh, reinforced ones out of um, dungeons, so that has helped tremendously. But I've gotten so used to having the uh, epic backpack and using that, but unfortunately I have run into a uh, nasty glitch with it, and so I, have, uh, I am no longer uh, in favor of using it like I used to be. And so I'm trying to slowly wean myself off of using it. And um, in case there is anything else that has a conflict with it that would break it. Because um, that would be that would be very bad to, to have anything else get eaten by the broken backpack. Because the broken backpack has already eaten one entire suit of armor. And that is really no fun when you lose your entire suit of armor due to a glitchy backpack. I'm just saying. Okay, 8, 11, okay, whatever, and wood, I got the wood, okay, we're good there. There's two of those, I need another iron pickaxe, so I can pull one out of storage. All right, what do I have? I don't care about. Da, 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 da. Hmm. 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 I should take that one. think if I even have a holding book. I don't think I do now that I think about it. red alloy plates away. I didn't mean to. I did. Duh, that was bad. Okay. 
That one is the stone. Where's the rest of my dolomite? Dolomite, where are you? What? Oh, wait, wait. That one's cobblestone. over and I need to face this direction it goes there this is going to be use item on block left click with the upper left hand swipe only it's going to be redstone on until I turn it on and there that goes there okay and then this is going to be the This one is going to be nether quartz ore. Where do I have my nether quartz ore? Nether quartz, nether quartz, nether quartz. be behind one of these, isn't it? Much my luck. just put these down today and they've gotten filled already. It's ridiculous. Courts, where are you hiding? Yep. Darn pick. right in front of me. There it is. I have 103,000 nether quartz. I'm thinking this should last for a little while. Just a bit. Another quartz. We're good there. We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven servos. 
<clears throat> Three of the upgrade. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What is happening here? How did you all get filled so fast? Goodness gracious. You guys need to work faster. What the hell? That was ridiculous. I think, actually... Did I upgrade these to the next tier too? I did. Slower than lapis, though. Maybe I could swap them. Try rotating those around and see if There's this weird pause again for no reason. I don't know why it's doing that.
All right, let's try you again. I forgot the lapis just comes in, <clears throat> the lapis just comes in so fast, it needs those, these to have upgrades on so that they can hold more. I completely forgot about that. That's why these had so many upgrades in them, because when this was running lapis, it needs to have all the space it can possibly have. With emerald, these never get any accumulation of stuff. It's pulling them out just as fast as they come in, so it's fine. I mean, I bet even... in so fast the factorizer can't keep up. <laughs> I mean I'm probably gonna have to put that one on pause every once in a while just to give the factorizer a chance to catch up. It's that good. <laughs> So it's nice to have a problem that it's that good, but it, it's almost like it's too good. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's get another factorizer made. Let's see. Our... Our dark is done. that tank and put the tank here and get some dark magic essence I'll put the rest of the stuff away while it's doing that To make the ti compressed titanium, you need titanium plates. And I need 25. So I need 20, 28. I'm going to need 28 titanium plates. get that making the titanium plates um, and we're going to make the factorizer next so we need another one of these so we're going to do steel and bronze again in there when the 
titanium is done. Go ahead and sleep. Oh, Valdor, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Okay, we need two orange. Advanced. Definitely going to need more copper. you always want to give me two. Okay, and then we're going to need Two gold gears. away. Grab our wooden casings. Now we'll need to make the piston, if I can spell it right. There's never a guarantee I'm going to spell it right. There's those. the block so of course we're going to need more of course we are Should be everything for the factorizer. Gotta keep 
Yeah, they're <laughs> everybody's marching and they're still not keep be able to keep up because the factorizer just cannot process all of this at once. So yeah, we'll just we'll just let it get caught up and then we'll turn it back on. Alright, so there is that. Then this is gonna be output. It is set to input on all the sides, right? Oh! Okay, that would explain why you're having trouble. Every side should be set to input, except for the top, which should be set to output. Still going to bounce back on occasion because it's the factorizer will get full. That's why occasionally the servo gets turns red like that. But then it will clear itself up, I've noticed. So, like, it's getting red. Then it'll pause and it'll start sending again and then it will clear itself off without me having to clear it. So that's good. Yeah, that, that pick apparently is just too damn efficient because it is really overloading my system here. All right, so this is set up now. All of those are input. That is set to an output. And then we're going to put that there. I think I'm out of any bins that are larger. Sixteen one. you're getting close to another redstone singularity. 17.9. Hang on. Uh, where's my thing? Emerald is at 17.1. So that's actually higher than I need. Um, let's do this. Like that. And I gotta figure out where is it gonna spit it out at. There. goes in here. Oh, now I have another ultimate. Yay! Let's actually swap you out for you. Actually, no, we'll leave that one and we'll wait for the ultimate to come back to be available. We just need the range collector and then all the servos. Let's 
goes down here. Do this, I put these in there. There is 28 compressed titanium. I'll come back to here. The other thing I need is your Dean blocks. That's going to be a bit more of a process. Um, so I'm definitely going to need a lot of boosting mixture for that as well. So I got the easy part out of the way. There's that. Okay, so now we need the range collector. That's going to be stone and the Inori plate. We have four. One, two, three, four, let's see. It's three, six, nine, twelve. I need eight more. Like to keep it daylight because my entire base is being powered by one solar panel. <laughs> Albeit it's a very good solar panel, but it's still my base being powered by one solar panel. Okay, so I need two more Inori and four Void. One, two, three, four. And two. And then stone. That's my dolomite. I already got that. I need the Thunder Pearl. Copper gear. Why am I grabbing that? I'm trying to put these away. And I need this. Oh, that's going to need a lot of stuff. goes in the middle of this, makes that, and run upstairs to my Nori plates, thank you, collector and 
that whitelist. Okay, so now we just need all the servos and we should be good to go there. I'm going to need a bunch more red alloy. that okay, didn't I bring one of these things back that was full pretty darn close to full Brush away. That will restock my redstone supply in no time. Actually, I probably should just keep that thing going. And take that whole stack over. So now I need to make a whole bunch of base servos to start. I need to grab glass. One, two, three. Okay, so for your Dean, is concrete, ruby, magma balls, and something I always forget at the end. What the heck is it? Osram. That's what I was thinking. Osram. Okay, and I'm running low on rubies, so let me just grab
Now I need to move the fluid from here to here. And I have enough to do nine batches. So that's this, 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 and this. That only got me 12. Ugh. Okay, so right now I am running low on magma cream. What do I have to do to make magma cream? Oh, slime ball and blaze powder? We are good to go, babe. We've got, we have that for days. Uh... blaze rod take the blaze powder that we have slime I have slime for days so we'll take that and that and make slime or make magma creams and then we'll take these up here and crush them to replenish our stock of blaze rods have room for six more. Six times two is 12. So I can put 11 more in here. Four blocks. I need five. Ah! I do not have any uridine already. And that means I'm short a little more magma. No, I have. Okay, what else did I run out of? Oh, boosting mixture. Duh! depth perception in these black ceilings. I really need to do something about them because I, I thought they looked really, really great when we put them up there, but now trying to place things is really, really hard. <laughs> okay, I have room to do 10. I'm not going to have enough stuff to do 10 more, but I'm going to go ahead and do it uses up all my concrete, but it's enough uridine to finish the job. So do this block. I can put this, 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 this. Okay, so I have enough to do it. Where do I make that? Just in the crafting table. So I put that. And I surround it like that. I'll put the compressed titanium in there. And there is my launch pad. Oh, that was nice. It replaced some of the uridine and the titanium I used to make it. That was nice. Alright. little 
detour, let some more redstone finish up. Oh, that's right, I forgot I needed the iron plates too. ahead and take another stack of iron and plate that. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine. far as I can go on what I have right now. So if I just want to make regular servos, So that's to start. And if I go to ore processing, okay, one of them would go there. One goes there. One goes there, and one goes there. Then the other three are the three that pull out of the um, range controller. Those I want to upgrade. And I know I'm going to need six electrum plates. three. And if I get my... Oh, still doing that. Um, let's prioritize these. Minute. that up. One of those. Take that up. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'll take the three of these. So this one, this one, this one. Okay, and you should be good to go. Are you getting caught up? You're empty. You're empty. And you're empty. Okay. So just just the few minutes we had it on, it did 3,200 blocks. All right. Let's see if it does a better job of keeping caught up now that it has the higher range servos are in place and the bottom one here is now, or the uh, factorizer is now accepting input from all directions. The whole idea of having these set up this way with such astronomically large um, amounts sitting in that top bin is that I can let them run 24-7. So when I'm sleeping, these things are running. Um, so it would not be good for them to get backlogged where they are not, not processing because, or they're, I'm losing ores that are being produced, but they're not getting sucked in properly because something has gone awry. We do not want that. And I think everybody else is keeping up okay, but I think if anybody else had any storage upgrades, I think I can take them out. Well, never mind. That one says it's full of 65,000. That's probably because these have got the enough. I do. Let's switch these out. Find the servo. That's at 65,000. Eek. Let's take, since this one is doing the other type, we'll do that. Take the servo.
think I need, oh dang it. So since this one is collecting the resonating redstone crystals, we'll basically have two exports coming out of this one, plus the gold chest down there. Hopefully having two exports out of here will help maybe keep that from getting bogged down. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm thinking what I can do too is thinking one of these Take that one off. I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to switch them around. Because the quantity and I'm going to whitelist Now the only thing that should be coming through this one should be any of those. Then I can take this one and now it's going to be pulling in faster out. So then checking in over here, how we doing? Staying caught up. This one's staying empty. This one's back up to 6,000. And this one's staying empty. So for whatever reason, they're all congregating over to here. out that way so it's not like they're all over here but I do have two diamond upgrades in there so hopefully that keeps that one from getting full then over here no issues with anything accumulating over here we are doing right as rain
Okay. What was the redstone one at again? Redstone's at 18.9. So this one's flying along that it's going to have another one here before we know it too. I go to home basement. We have an emerald singularity. I can grab that. And here. And add our emerald singularity to the pile here. And then I can bring my In back I want to take it out, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think I'm far enough back. I'll be able to pick this up without it going poof. As long as my finger doesn't slip. Lovely. Okay. So, we've got... Diamond ran out of stuff to process again. It's so fast. Okay, so emerald, redstone, lapis, going to town lapis and quartz and quartz is just going to go for days because it has 102,000 ore to process all right let me go back to the warehouse <clears throat> and we will put this and this and this and this and this and this away put our dolomite away put our glass away and if we go to our quest book we now need heavy duty plates we need 30 of them which i believe i have two <laughs> woohoo we've got two so we need to craft 28 tier four plates which is going to take tier threes compressed carbon and four compressed mercuries for each okay so now i've got tier threes but i only have 23 and i need 28. so here's my compressed mercuries and here's my compressed carbon so the first thing I need to do is I need five more tier three plates so that I can, oh no, no, wait, 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 no, 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 do math, do math. I need 28, meaning I have to do this seven times. So I only need seven tier three. I'm good. I'm good. Can't do math, but I'm good. <laughs> We're good. So I need 7, 7, 28. So I need 28 compressed mercury to do this. Okay. So do I have any more mercury ingots? I 
I do not. But I have lots of mercury dust. So if I want to make mercury ingots, we have not yet gone the extra distance to make the chloro whatever. But in the fluid infuser, we can put infected water and double our... We have two. Uh, let's see. Um, wasted soil. Where did all of my tanks go? There they are. Okay. Let's go. I believe these go in here. get a stock of infected water to take with us. over here. Here is my fluid infuser and I need, let's just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and we'll start with those two. Oh no, it's, yeah, it's 5,000 per. That's right. Unfortunately, I know where I can go get more wasted soil, so I'm not too terribly worried about making more of that. Now, if I want compressed mercury, if I put that through my master assembler, two of those get me four, and I need 28. So I need seven, I need 14 ingots worth.
bless you, I already have four. I forgot, I do already have a little bit. Let me take those and we'll head back to the basement. over here and then I can do compressed mercury here is two per and I can do five so I can do four have what one left and the heavy duty plates those are also in here the one one and four so one 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 two three four Easy peasy, we got this one. Yep, that's full. Oh, overflowing. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've run into that where it's actually overflowing of... Overflowing in, uh, in the waste category. So that's good to know that it does do that. Alright, so I've got 16 in there. So I can do four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Boom. There's 22 of my 30. I'm almost there. I'm going to head back upstairs. And we'll grab. You could turn chests around like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, we'll go back to here and put another thing of wasted soil in. And empty and I have four. I can leave this. Actually, let's do...
basement. Okay, so I have 12 in there. So I can do four in there to get more compressed mercury. And then I can do this, this, this. Boom. We got our heavy duty plates and it's gonna give us a whole lot more heavy duty plates. And then the tier four rocket. Good game. Well played. Thank you for playing my pack. Well, thank you, Freebie. I really like this pack. So here is the, oh my lord, the rocket. So we have heavy duty plates. Okay, we got those. Four tier four nose cones. Two shock absorbers. Two energy flow circuits. Oh, I am not amused. A bronze tank, a diamond promise acceptor, two 360 nat coolant cells, six tier four rocket fins, four tier four rocket boosters, and three tier four rocket engines. Oh, and two dynamite blocks for good measure, and a blood infused iron block. Holy cow. Okay, that is like a chore and a half of uh, crafting for that. Wow. Uh, put that in there. Put that in there. Four draconic fusion crafting injectors. I'm going to need a ton of diamonds. I'm going to need four awakened draconian blocks. I th should have enough for that now, I think. Let me look. Yes. So one, two, three, four. I have that. And then I need four times four, 16 diamonds. And I have 13. Really? You gonna do me dirty like that? Okay. Diamonds were good. just started this tonight and it's already up to 4,600 blocks. <laughs> How are you doing as far as catch? Oh my God. It's up to 20,000 already. But just on that side. There's virtually nothing on this side. And there's nothing down here. Why does everything end up over here? take this over here and I give it to you 
Let's take Is any ending up down here, like, at all? Let's, let's do this. Where's my input here? Okay, then... I thought I had more. the dense ones, but I'm not sure I want to use them. Well, again, they're better than nothing.
mean, it's still growing faster than, than they can pull out. Give you a chance to catch up again because you've got 24,000 waiting to get profit. Oh my gosh. Wow, hard crash out. Interestingly enough, it luck stayed connected. My daughter has seen the picture of the crab and she's like, oh no, I'm like, oh yes, we have crab issues.
sorry, folks. That's uh, yeah, it's a hard crash. So I upload all of my videos to YouTube, which is where the archive of the series is, and I'm finding, I'm getting more and more people commenting on my videos now that I'm in Endgame with either tip suggestions or comments about what their own, what, you know, what they've been doing, and, um, you know, one of them that's come up is, is using the RF, R. RF tool dimensions, but you are basically at the whim of random chance at getting the dimlets that you need to create the specific dimensions that you need, and then you have to have sufficient power to keep the things up and stable while you mine the living daylights out of them. And so it's like, you know, that's certainly an option, but I have all of the resources that I need to craft all of the um, infinity catalysts to make these ingots. Um, I either have them or I can get them. It's just a matter of scaling the processing to, to get them all. Um, in, in, in some cases, I can you know, if I run out of one material, I can rotate another material in that I have lots of, and that gives an opportunity for the material that I have run out of to replenish itself, and then I rotate it back in. So I can be rotating things like that. If I may not have, you know, half a million of all ores simultaneously, but I can process 100,000 of this one, then 100,000 of this one, and then 100,000 of this one, and then 100,000 of this one, and then rotate back to the first one, which has now gotten back to 150,000, and so on and so forth. So even if I don't have all seven of my ore processing lines up and running yet, I could theoretically, if I have one material that I have lots of, I could double up two processing lines to work on the same material if I have lots of iron, for example. If I have a lot of iron, I could have two lines processing iron and give copper a chance to replenish itself, just as an example. So to me, building up my processing capabilities to process the ores that I have now 
makes more sense than chasing a random chance for dimlets where I may end up getting none of the ones that I need because I could end up getting ores dimlets that do not contribute to any extreme singularities at all. I think I have one material dimlet right now and it's not one that is useful to me. So it's it's one of those things that why, you know, do I spend time chasing dimlets that may help? Or do I invest the time in processing ores that will definitely help? You know, it, it's, it's one of those things that I have to invest my time somewhere. So for now, I'm focusing my attention on finishing what quests I can. And then it's going to be a lot of scaling. So things like my brine tower still need to be increased up to max. I can add additional brine towers to add capacity to the system. Um, I still need to add capacity to my reactor so the damn thing will stay up. Stupid reactor. All right. Let's see if you'll actually stay up now. I have no idea what that crash was for. It was very, very weird. So this is getting close to another... Because redstone is at 18.9. So yeah, redstone, redstone's almost ready for another one. That'd be two redstones in a single day. I get two redstone extreme singularities every day. I'll have redstone done in no time. Diamond is the one that's going to be the, the, the pain right now. Um, diamond and emeralds. These are the two that are a real pain. Um, because I just, I do not have the incoming resources to work on them very well. Um... So by playing, playing with the, um, playing with the lens on the void miner does help. Because like right now it is pulling in diamonds more, or at least it would be if my void ore miner wasn't blocked because something's full again. Good grief. What got full? Um, ten is full. All right, let's see. Um, let's put you here. Ten. Diamond, looking for diamond. I think it just took the diamond away. Yeah, 613. I think there was some diamond in there. Just process this stuff so quickly. Eighteen nine.
Okay, so we've got the Awakened Draconium. We have the Diamonds. We need four Wyvern to convert to Draconium. I only need eight. So like these two are not connected. So I can take these two down. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have two extras right now. So like I could take... That one off, and the center one off. So I've got the four. Okay, so now I have the four wyvern that need to go converted. So now the only thing I need are eight wyvern cores. have been busy. Goodness. My experience is following me up the ladder. <laughs> Here we go. It's coming. I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed. Two two redstone singularities in one day is, is pretty awesome. We're going to put you down. And we'll come down here to grab the this one. And then we'll bring you out here. Take you out. Home basement. So now let me think. For every wyvern core is four of those. And I need eight. That's 32. If that can't be right, right? Four, eight, 32. I, I got to be doing the math wrong here because it's getting late. I need to do this four times, and I need two a time, so that's eight. Eight times four. I need 32 diamond promise acceptors. Holy flippin' hell. Ooh. Yeah, I, I better get started. That one's going to take a while. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't have any, so I'm going to have to make all 32. I have four there for my first infinity ingot.
Oh my gosh, that that's gonna be rough, folks. That is gonna be rough. So I need, I need, I should have brought more. So when a tool that has unusing on it reaches five, it basically will just become inert in the mechanical user until I go and get it healed. So I moved the diamond anvil over to here. So that way it's more conveniently located. I need 32. Right. Okay. My math was right. Deaths. Oh my God. We're freaking. Oh man. I don't. How much blood is that for 32? That is a lot. This this upgrade is not going to be easy. Have Have you been lurking long, Death? Or did you just get here? Because we've been busy today. We finished mystic, mystical agriculture. It's done. And we got our tier two rocket launch pad done. And we got our heavy duty plates done. You just woke up. Yeah, my daughter was telling me your schedule is very opposite of the rest of the universe. So I will catch you up on what you have missed. So I, I got those quests done. And then I have added these two or processing areas to my existing setup. So we now have Lapis and we have Nether Quartz with their own processing areas. So we now have a total of five pickaxe processing areas running here in the um, or processing center. Um, so these things can run 24-7, non-stop, all the time, until their axe runs out, which is just what happened <laughs> to Diamond. Um, and, I mean, some of these I have been, you know, building up for a while now. So, like, Lapis has 73,000 left to go, and Nether Quartz still has 100,000. So I just took redstone over to do its second extreme singularity of the day. And we got our first emerald singularity of the day. So that's three extreme singularities out of the pickaxe processing area today. So they are kicking butt and taking names for sure. But this, this space, spaceship is a beast. Because, oh, look, it wants a diamond promise acceptor, too. <laughs> Since it's already 9 p.m. for me, I will probably save 
this for tomorrow because I'm gonna have I think I'm gonna have to make at least one of these energy flow circuits and that's always such a chore at least I think I will let me let me look yeah see I've got one I'm gonna have to make another one Ugh. but for, for completing that, uh, that mystical agriculture, we did get a solar panel level six. So I now have that running the uh, machines over here in the reactor infrastructure area. Um, so right now, I believe all of the different gases have gotten caught up to where they are maxed out again so that Mr. Chicken disaster has been dealt with. So the brine is full. This is full. This is full. Every single one of these is full. So in theory, I could get another thing to start the reactor up again. But, oh, I missed. <laughs> My solar panel is doing a damn good job of keeping the base running. Oh, yeah, they're not hard to make. It's just I don't have the blood supply to make them continually it's what the problem is and that many oh my gosh my one solar panel is doing a kick-ass job of not only keeping the base running but keeping the battery relatively charged i mean it's staying you know above 50 percent off of my one solar panel i'm staying in the 50 to 60 percent charge range which would mean for some of these um uh, crafting recipes for the uh, few, few, the uh, draconic draconic draw there blah, 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 blah. the draconic crafting I would be able to do them no problem so I'm I'm very excited about that that the solar panel is doing such a good job but I had to restructure my um, stuff here because poor Lapis is doing such a good job that this this thing is getting full and the factorizer cannot keep up. <laughs> so I actually had to turn this off to give it a chance to catch up because this thing this thing was up to like 30,000 or something. It was just crazy. So far Nether Quartz is doing okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's accumulating a little bit, but not too much. And only, again, only in this one. It's really weird. It's like only the left-hand side, do they all accumulate. But it's like they're not accumulating down the, They haven't been accumulating too much on the left or the right. It's really only been on this side. So I turned, I turned this one off temporarily to let this one clear out. It's absolutely nuts. I mean, seriously nuts. But we're, we're doing, we're flying away here on tin. We've got copper going. And we've got lead going over here. So we got lead, copper, tin would be... So tin's here. Lead's here, copper's here. The only one we're missing is, is the silver. If we look at our chest here. So we're doing tin, copper, lead. The only one we're not processing right now is silver. My hope is to start line four and drop silver in there. Um, because if we can get the rocket made, we're going to get another gold singularity. That's the reward for this one. It gives you a gold singularity. I 
it also gives you four energy flow circuits. So I have to make one, but it's going to give me four. So that'll be nice. But, oh man, that's... Whew. So I went ahead and dropped in the 32... How are you doing over here? 3,900 left. I went ahead and dropped in the 32... And it's already up to five. And I've been putting the... Um, dead bushes here to help provide a little more energy and to, you know, get them out of there. And then take all the sticks out. Got to keep the sticks out so it has room to keep growing more things. I'm going to have to do so much, oh my gosh, so much glowstone in the blood altar. It's not going to be funny. Oh my gosh. We can do it though. I, we, I, I know we can do it. It's just going to be a matter of, of time. And, okay, we're going to need some more sodium hydroxide in here to keep producing. Let me get because we're going to need tons of diamantine to be empowered. Oh my gosh. So we need to get this like completely filled. Let me go get all that salt. Elevator up. Sheesh. Okay, I need to put, let me put, all right, let's put this stuff back for a minute. Put you away in there. Give me all the salt. this. This is, this is going to get nuts. It's 
it there. Thank you. Oh, dang it. Go ahead and take them all. Oops. Okay, now I can take all this stuff back. And that, and that. Okay, the only thing I need... That. The only thing I need right now to finish... Um, draconic cores... Is empowered diamantine. So I need this, this, this. I need a whole lot of terra steel blocks. Give me that. Oh, this is going to be, this one's going to be a little crazy. This one's going to be a little crazy. We can do it. It's just, it's just going to take, it's going to take a little time. Now we do have almost one whole one. Already. So that is great. So we can put this, 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 and this in there. Oh, and now we need... We need the glowstone, obviously. Duh. So let me make a little room here. Now the good thing is we should be able to complete the quest, the quest without having to put them back in like we did before. We can keep them all in our inventory and then grab all four of them, have all four of them to finish the quest before we have to start putting them into the grid. Now, some of our later quests, we may have to upgrade more of them depending on what the recipes are asking us to do crafting-wise. Except, Akumadori is going to bring us a couple as rewards too, so that's going to help. Ha! Redstone Singularity! So we need... We need this to be a total of 80. 80. And we have 8. So that means we need 72. But Akumadori is going to give us one more. So we need 71 of everything on the page here. 71. So I am so glad we started the stew room and Akumadori has been shepherding it along because we're gonna have to sit there and make like a hundred ultimate stews. Which, once we have everything in the wall, it's just going to be a matter of taking everything off of row one, putting it in row one of the crafting table. Taking everything off of row two, putting it in row two of the crafting table. It'll be easy. We can do like a whole stack of ultimate stews at a time. 64 at a time. Once the, once the wall is done, it'll be extremely easy to do. So that has to be a priority here this next weekend when Akumadori is here. We have got to get the wall finished so she can finish filling all the drawers. 
so that we can get this one taken care of. And then she can probably help me with the cosmic meatballs at getting all the meat things on that one. But we need 71 of every single thing on this page to make 71 more infinite catalysts. Because then I'm going to need Because that would then give us a total of 80. Because then I'm going to need 10 experience singularities, 130 neutronium plates, 10 of these, 60 of these, 40 of these, 40 of these, 130 of these, and 40 of these. I shouldn't have looked at that. I just depressed myself. <laughs> all of that for some way down the line period of time because it's going to take me a really long time to make all of these infinity catalysts we're going to be we're going to be working on this for weeks if not longer I, there's just no other way of, of scaling this that I know of. Because I just, I don't have faith in the Dimlet route because it's just a pure matter of luck that you would get the right one. I have all my lava, just checking. So Dimlets are a way that you can get a lot of resources fast, but you have to be extremely lucky to get the components needed to make the right dimension type. And so it's, it's a matter of, do you want to invest your time chasing after the right components for the right dimension when you might end up getting unlucky and have spent a whole lot of time and get nothing? Okay, I do have five more here. That is in Nori. Okay, we're good. We're good, good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need these two. Let's go ahead and get you and you getting blocked up, plated up, and I'll sleep. So there's two of those. Let's see, and then to make one of these, I didn't grab that. And I need more tritium. That is the cobalt and this. Have it in here? No. Have it in there? Yes. So let me grab this. Move the fluid from there to there. Wait, how many do I have? I have eight. won't be enough for everything, but at least will get me started. Okay, so now for the wyvern, need two more, okay. There is that. I need, there's 
one more of those. Okay, I need another one of these. I have that. I'd really like to be able to get one of these crafted tonight. It's only 9.30, so I have time. If I could get two Wyvern cores crafted tonight, we could do one upgrade tonight. That would be really awesome. I don't know if I have the resources to do that, but I'm going to try. I'd like to. should have blood shards I can take up and get blood that way too. So that's going to be that's going to be sort of the last goal for tonight is to see if we can get one of the four wyvern infuser things upgraded tonight to draconic and then tomorrow night we're gonna try and get this the rocket done um, which will end our quest line for space it won't end our spatial travels because we probably will have to travel at some point to Jupiter and the other planets to get access cards. Um, we have through access cards through four. Five is on Jupiter. Six, I think, is on Saturn. And seven, I'm not sure where seven is at. But you use those other access cards in some of the creative crafts and so we'll probably have to go to the outer planets at some point um district was able to go with his thermal padding and his draconic armor he didn't need an upper tier spacesuit so if i can get a battery to keep my suit charged i might try and do that and leave my backpack at home since they conflict and cause glitches um I'll just have to see. But yeah, so we're going to be in that same situation of desperately needing life essence and blood for diamond promise acceptors and for blood infused glowstone, just like we were before. But what we'll probably do is give them both a chance to build up. We'll, give, we'll be able to restock this one, and the other one will just automatically go on its own. So we're basically just at the will of the machine giving us those Diamond Promise Acceptors at this point. We'll have to raid one of them for the, uh, for the rocket ship, but... That'd be okay. We can do that. Yeah, what I can do is I've got 2320 in shards there, and I've got another 572 shards there. So I can run all of that up, convert it to blood to dump into here, and that's hopefully going to be enough to get us two more, and that would give us eight, which would allow us to make two wyvern. So... If we can get to the point where we have enough draconic cores made and we just need the diamond promise acceptors, we can convert the hardened blood shards into blood and that may give us enough for the diamond promise acceptors that we can get this craft done tonight at least once. Def Devs, have you seen the new layout I did for the Draconic crafting area?
you lurk an awful lot, so I, I'm never sure exactly what things you've seen and what things you haven't. If you have not seen the new layout, just let me know and I will go and show you the changes I made. It works so much faster now. The, the crafting that took like three hours before, I did in like ten minutes. It's like infinitely faster than what I did before. I've, I have improved it immensely. There is most decidedly a power cell in the future for the empowerer to try and speed it. Not yet. Okay. I'll be I'll be back. I'm going to I'm going to show I'm going to show death the So what I did is I took down the I took down the power area that I had before and I built this quantum entanglo porter and it's it works similar to a power cell in that it's it's wirelessly connecting power from our big giant beautiful battery in the sky over there to here but you'll notice how much energy it's got coming in here. Is is 6.4 million RF? This thing can transfer power at a huge rate. Um, it will also allow me to transfer items, fluids, gases, basically anything. These things will transfer anything wirelessly between locations. So what I have it, it I've got little I've got little wire little uh, crystal things plugged basically on all every single side, and so they are connected to to the layout here. So I have there's a crystal for everything here. So there is nine on this side, and then there's one on this side. It doesn't currently have one because I've I've taken it down for the upgrade. So this one. Entangle porter is charging two, four, six, eight, ten, all by itself. It's charging ten of the of the infusers all by itself, and because it can do it at such a fast rate out of the battery, that that first craft that took me three hours to do awaken draconium. I think it took 10 to 15 minutes and it only took that long because I had to get the settings right. Otherwise I think it would have been like instantaneous. So I'm really, I'm really excited to try now that I have all the settings should be right. I'm really excited to try a crafting with it. Now that all the settings should be right. I shouldn't have to change anything else. Um, and, and see, see how quickly it, it crafts. Um, it should be like transfer of power craft were done, um, for any of the smaller things that we're, we're working with, I would hope. Um, how are you doing? Are you getting caught up yet? Are you caught up now? You're caught up! Yay! Oh my gosh, 7,800. Alright, you can go back on. We're just going to, to kick Draconic butt when it comes to crafting between our battery and we have our, our, our Entanglo Porters. Now, that was a craft and a half. I will tell you that. I mean, those things... These things 
were a pain to craft because I needed a quintuple battery. And batteries are not a lot of fun to make in this pack. Now, fortunately, I already had teleportation core, so that made it easy. And I think I only had to make one set of the ultimate circuits. So it was like, yeah, that was a project all by itself. It was like, oh, but oh my God, so flippin' worth it. So flippin' worth it. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom. And then Wyvern. One. Okay, we got one. We're halfway to our first one. What do we need to do? Another Draconic. We need more gold plates. All right, gold. Let's just take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just take a whole stack. Plate that. Okay, am I, I think I'm out of gold, glowstone, not goldstone, glowstone. Okay, there's none over there. There's none over there. So we need to make some, and our inventory is full. Uh, hmm. Uh, we'll just do, I have what, two slots open? That'll work. Let's go ahead and leave one going. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. That was, that was a really good upgrade. And you should be ready for a little more of this. Swear I'm gonna have to put a target on the ceiling. Aim for here. <sighs> Seriously. It's quite the it's quite the nice quite the nice setup and I, I think it's going to work really well. I am very excited about that. I think it's going to be, and I think, I think we'll be able to get the tier four rocket done tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to actually start my stream maybe a little bit early tomorrow. 
I have a dentist appointment in the afternoon, so I have taken the afternoon off from work, and I should be able to finish that and come home and be home a little earlier than my normal get off of work time. So in theory, I should be able to start my stream a little early, which would be nice. So we can have a little extended work on the game, which goodness knows this thing needs all the time it can get. <laughs> <sighs> then as far as I know, Okumidori is not babysitting this weekend, so she will be here on Friday, and like I said, I think, I think uh, our goal this weekend is going to be finish the stew room so that we can get like a hundred ultimate stews made. So that is that part of the the thing is done, and then probably work on getting the cosmic meatballs and get a hundred of those made, and and maybe and probably the ender you know work on some of those accessory ones, you know the, the other pieces and parts that need to be done too. We'll work on those as well while I have Akumidori here to help me. I think that'll be a really good use of our time jointly. Because like one of the things we need is is records. So like we have to make these broken records. I've got tons of records. I want to make sure I don't, you know, use all the records up. So you just make broken records. By just putting them in your crafting table. So I just, or, so I just have to make sure I pick one that I have dupe. So we've got chirp 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 so if I do this 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 dump that in there okay so do I have any more chirp there's another chirp Where's like a barrel? There's a barrel here. Okay, so here's a chirp. Okay, so anything else that is chirp. Okay, anything else that is chirp can be broken. I want to make sure I save at least one unique one, right? Okay, so next will be blocks. Okay, so anything that is blocks, that should be all the blocks. getting that one knocked out pretty quick with the records. All right, that one's done. I'm going to need to make more mana diamonds. Okay, do that. Go back to ore processing to grab some more How are you doing? Okay, now this is staying caught up much better. Now it's all going to the bottom one. Ah!
Oh, this is driving me nuts. So I solved the solution of them all going to the left, and now they all want to go down. Oh, you're all full. Let me drain you down a bit. I have, I just put those, make another servo, The important thing is it's staying caught up, but not if it's now all collecting down here. It's supposed to be going over here. Let me do this. Let me turn this one off. So then it has to go into one of the other two. give the bottom one a chance to catch up in theory again in theory I'm missing so much stuff. Okay, so now I need white. Okay, if I can't do a full one, can I do a half one? Yes, okay, do that. As long as it's a number, number divisible by four, this will, oh, it gave me 33. That's okay, because I can do 32 plus my four that I have here is 36. Okay, and then I need to go here. I need to drain that out. That there. Okay, it's now empty. Okay, that there, put the white dust there, put that there. 
And let's see, let's put, yes, we're decorating the roof with jars of liquid. It's quite amusing. So the next tier of rocket will go to, um, let me, okay, so we can, on tier four, whoops, helps to hit the right thing. Uh, tier four will let me go to series to Jupiter, to any of Jupiter's moons, then I need tier five to go to Saturn and her moons. Tier six is Uranus. Tier seven is Neptune. Tier eight is Pluto. Tier question mark. Tier nine is Eris. I have no idea what make make is. Oh my gosh, they have tattooing. Hoth, crate, and aqua. The whirlpool galaxy. I have no idea what these are. The Black Eye Galaxy? I'm completely clueless on what these are. So, basically, Tier 4 will let us go to Jupiter and the moons. We go to the dungeon on Jupiter, we'll get the tier 5 schematic, and that will let us build a tier 5 rocket to go to Saturn. Tier, Saturn will get a tier 6 rocket schematic, will let us go to Uranus. Uranus will be able to go the tier 7 rocket schematic, etc, 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 etc. The important thing is getting the rocket schematic, not just because we want to be able to build rockets, but because we need the schematics, get those access cards. So there's lots of the things happening here. Okay, so here's, I'm out of space. All right, so this, this, this. Oh, I need more draconic and I need more of my plates. Oh my gosh, all right. Uh. Let me put that there and that there. I'm going to put my that there. Ay, 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 we're out of room. Okay, so there's that. Let's go make more. Uh, no. Yes. Oh my God. 3,639. I say we have managed to stock up a little bit on the draconic essence. Which of course means by the time we get done with this quest, it will all be gone. <laughs> Because that's usually what happens is I restock on something and then it's all gone. Okay, what was the other thing I needed for? I need more tier one plates. 
which is going to be the steel, aluminum, and bronze. Steel, aluminum, and bronze. Okay, so down here. Here, how much did I move? Five. That'll be enough. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was three. And then I can do two left. Doom, doom, doom. Perfect. Perfect. There's one more of these. That's three. What do I need to do one more? Of course, it's another plate. Of course it is. I didn't, I left my pickaxe behind. I forgot I needed to get the pink tanks around. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. An empty tank there. from behind so I do not smash any glowstone. I never, ever, 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 ever want to do that again. Like ever! And we'll go peek and see if we got another... diamond promise acceptor yet. That's one nice thing about my new setup is that that's another thing. It runs continuously. So the trees are constantly feeding it uh, materials to convert it into blood, which feeds the blood infuser. So, as long as I have the diamond blocks in there, it will just keep producing me items. So, and since I haven't had to make any diamond promise acceptors for a little bit, those hardened blood shards have accumulated. So hopefully we can get a good chunk of what we need using them to push us over the top to get us the ones we need to finish and do one craft tonight. So hopefully Death can see the speedier processing time on my new setup because it's so awesome. Because this might be something where, like, it takes, you know, every other day or something, depending on how fast these promise acceptors go, before we get the eight we need to make the two wyvern cores to do another craft. So that'll be probably the determining factor on when we can do the next one. It No, I do not want that. I want this. Thank you. Because I can 
control pretty much everything else that goes into this craft. But that one, that's the tricky one. All right. Get this in there. And then we'll bring the things around. One of you. One of you. Yeah, we're about halfway-ish. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to get... do you take out at once? Is it a thousand? No, it's two thousand. Excellent. Because then I'll take you out. That will free up the big tan big uh, tank here. Put that there. do this. All right, there's that. Restock it with a empty one. It takes, I think, like two and a half of these tanks to do one. So this is 64. Two of them would be 128. I think it's something like 140 with the discount to make one. I think that's right.
upstairs. I want. Okay, I can make three. I'm only going to make one because I want to make sure I have enough other stuff to make the wyvern. Wyvern. The only thing I am missing is the two. Do I take the two out? I could take two out of here. And I just have to restock them. We're doing that. They're just going to sit there for ages anyway. So then let's do wyvern. Wyvern. Okay, so there's wyvern. So then let me put everybody else in here for now. Uh, this one. What am I doing? I can't go do this now. It's a blood moon. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and do... I have to wait till morning now, damn it. moon hits. Of course it does. I think between Akumadori and me, we really knock things out. We can get all of like the non-singularity stuff. We can probably get a stack and a half of all of those done by the end of our weekend time. Not a problem. I'm feeling fairly confident we can we can do that. The, the Endus Pearl one might be the hardest one to do because I just don't know if we have the supplies to do that one but other than that I think we'll be able to knock all the rest of those out to get a stockpile for the 71 of all we need because if she can help me knock all of those out then all I have to focus on is the singularities and whoopsie I'm just accumulating ores at this point. So, I mean, I'm going to have, like, like, just, 
oodles and oodles of iron ore because iron hasn't been processed in a while. So I'm just going to have just a ton of iron ore to put through a line once I'm ready to put a line together to do iron again. And so, I mean, it's just going to run just for eons on processing iron. What did I do? I put that in the wrong place. That one goes there. That one goes there. Lovely. Alright, did I do enough to get one? I did do enough to get one. Okay. The question is, can I be safe enough on the roof to keep... Oh wait, I forgot to take the tank. may need to, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I may need to add a magma crucible to my setup downstairs to process the blood shards and feed them directly into the blood infuser. So that way I don't have to run them upstairs to be processed. And I'm not here. I'm just processing blood. Nothing to see here. Absolutely nothing to see here, folks. No, nothing at all. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing to see here at all. thinking that's what I need to do is I need to add an additional step here with a magma crucible attached right to this that is pulling these in processing them into blood and shooting it directly into this which I should be able to attach it to power right to the same advanced energy relay a lot more. I think I use you for our next round. Let's recharge that. I'm 
do. Ow. Ow. I put a hole in my ceiling. Mr. Spider. Oh yeah, that does work. Okay, now I need some of those fluid. Come here, you. one. There should be an advanced one in the... I think there's an advanced one sitting over here. Yes. Let's try that one instead. Two. I need better power source for this.
doesn't have any augments. There might be a, something that gives it better use of power. That's enough to sustain it. It's drawing in from both sides. Take our, take our stuff for our craft and go. So if I go down to back over to here, uh, here, I need four of these. So I need four diamonds, two of these, one of those, and one of those. So I, wrong one. So I need two of those. One, two, three, four of those. One of those, and one of those. We're off to do some crafting, some really, really good crafting. Thirteen thousand down there. Fourteen thousand in there. All right, looks like you need another break. Break! Already 10,000 blocks tonight, and I just set it up. <laughs> kind of scary that it's so efficient it keeps needing breaks, though. <laughs> I may need some better storage things to put around it or something. Okay, here we go. So we are going to split these. Oops. Split these up, so we do one there, one there, and then we need four diamonds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we need one of those. So those are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's only seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it only takes seven. And then I put one of you in here. And it says start. Okay, we're hitting the button at 10.24 p.m. And the craft is done at 10.24 p.m. <laughs> Me likey. This is much better than waiting three hours. Boom. One down.
may just take forever for it to come out because it's just so backed up. Thousand and thirteen thousand twenty five thousand there that needs to get blocked up. I mean, geez. I worry about letting that one run overnight because it may may end up wasting lapis if it can't keep up. Although this one this one has oh, not that one. This one has three diamond storage upgrades in it. So in theory that one should be able to store an awful lot. This one is up to 15,000. We're getting close to a 10. That one's at 13, and that one's up to almost 94. All right, so we got our first, first one done. to here. Oh, I didn't bring all the rest of my stuff. So there is one. I was able to make two. I'm out of the heavy duty plates again. So that means I need the boosting mixture. Let's go ahead and put the great near. Nah, let's do the 64 tank. So I have, I do not have that much aluminum. Let me run upstairs and grab more aluminum. I'm sure to have some, right? I have some, it's just not plated. So I'll need to plate some real quick. Okay, I'm excited about getting one of the four of the Draconic Cram upgrades done tonight. That is a super big deal. Ow. Who's being mean to me? Ow. Hey. Dude. shot on my own roof. Dude. Dude. You know what I said about not being shot on my own roof? That goes from my backyard too. And I'm missing a lava. Enough with the shooty shoots. Not in the mood for the shooty shoots. What was I doing? I was getting aluminum. That's what I was doing. Okay, that'll get me started. Do, do. Okay, 
Okay, I've got 16. So if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 8 of this. Grab all of the, well, I would grab all of those, but I can't. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. I can put my wrench away. I can put that bone away. I can put that servo away. I can put Okay, that'll help a little. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I... Uh, I can put the... Oh, no, I used those up already. Never mind. Um, put that in there. Grab that. There's three. What am I missing now? Oh, imagine that. Uh, another diamond. And I have enough there. How are we doing on that? We're doing okay. I'm so glad I had all those levels built up because I was able to do all of those enchants on both of those pickaxes. No problem. Didn't have to use any of my experience things to do anything. No, no problem. Didn't even, didn't even have to sweat it. That was so nice. may have to see if there is some sort of a tool I can use that's like a, like, you know, sort of like an if-then statement in an Excel spreadsheet or something where I can have the mechanical user check, use like with a redstone signal, like if this is less than 10,000, it will run. That the minute that it becomes over 10,000, it will pause or something like that. So that way the lapis one doesn't go overboard overnight when I'm sleeping. Because I can tell you right now, the only way, the only way we're getting through endgame is if I continue letting the server run 24-7. Because... It's got to continually be processing 24-7. I mean, this is just, it's a must. But I have to scale up production so that all of the materials needed for the extreme singularities are all being produced all the time. And right now they're not. I only have three of the metallic ores under production right now. And there's seven. So I need to get four more lines up and running, which means I need the infrastructure to support four more lines, which means I need to figure out uh, another source of sulfur. I need to get those brine towers up higher. I need, yeah. We can do it, though. I have every faith I can do it. It's just going to take some time. And getting, getting the other two pickaxe production lines set up tonight, huge step. Because basically those five singularities, they're taken care of. 
You know, as long as there is ore coming in from the void ore miner, we're good. I do have to go back to Twilight and get the diamonds from there. I forgot about that. I moved it over to Twilight to somewhere else to grab diamonds, and I should probably go and collect that. How are we doing over here? Oh yeah, this is definitely helping. Oh, there you go. It's all done. struggling for power, but now it's fully charged up, and it will now stay caught up. It will now stay caught up as they're coming in, and then I can move the hardened shards from this chest over to here as they come in. I think that'll help. That got us, I mean, that got us three more Diamond Promise Acceptors. You know, and I think what I'll do, I'm going to go ahead and take those other two. Because there's no need to stock up the Diamond Promise Acceptors for this yet. I'll need another magma crucible for the roof at some point, but for now, I'm going to put that one down here. Because, yeah, having it Having it just convert the blood shards directly into blood and going directly into the blood infuser, that's just going to speed up production of those Diamond Promise Acceptors. So to me, that just makes complete and total sense. That's, that's just a no-brainer. So we do this, 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 this. Oh, I'm missing nether stars. So I'm going to need. one. Okay, I'm going to need more glowstone again.
about 20 minutes till 11. I wonder if I could get the second one done. I don't think I'm going to have enough for the promise acceptor. That's still an amazing good chunk of progress tonight, though, because we got two quests done in the space line and 25% of the next quest down the Draconic line. So that is really good progress. And we've gotten three... Oh, dear. Why aren't you filling faster? Oh, snap. Wasn't paying attention. I want to put this one up to like a thousand. And let's even out these. There. Oh, there's another one. sworn I had speed upgrades. But I don't see them in any of these machines. took them out and put them away, but I can't imagine why I would do that.
goodness. But yeah, that's a, I think that's a really good amount of progress tonight is we got two more quests done on the space line and 25% of the draconic upgrades done. Which, considering the number of Diamond Promise acceptors we need, which is just absolutely insane. Can I mention that again? Absolutely insane. Now it's just going to take a lot. That's going to take a lot to get done. But even if I can just get, like, one done every other day, that won't be too bad. But yeah, that's really what's going to dictate how fast we can finish the Draconic upgrade is how fast we can get our Diamond Promise Acceptors. And I've improved my system a, a smidge by putting the magma crucible downstairs because now it'll automatically convert the hardened blood shards the system was generating. Those will automatically, automatically be converted into additional blood for the infuser. So that's, I mean, that's a system improvement. It's, I mean, it's not like, it, you know, we're talking, you know, tons of tons of additional but you know every little bit adds up I mean in anything that gets us a little bit faster whoops anything that gets the gets us those things a little bit faster is certainly a good thing for sure We still have plenty of coal there to keep that coal generator going. I sometimes wonder if this is generating any power at all. Because seriously, it feels sometimes like it doesn't. <laughs> okay, that's back to fully charged. I only have 29 alpha glass pass. Alp flas flasks left, so I'm going to have to restock those sometime soon. Oh my goodness. If I let that run overnight, I might be able to get the other two Diamond Promise Acceptors tomorrow. that'd be all right. I mean, then we'd be in a position to do the second one tomorrow. I mean, that's one a day. If we even do one a day, we'll have this quest done. Let's see. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll do it Saturday. That wouldn't be bad at all. Then we can see what they mean by a full draconic lineup or outfit or whatever. Yeah, 
Yeah, out of, out of elimination powder. Okay, well let's put everybody involved with this project goes into the chest. That way I'm not completely bogged down all the dang time. did get one legendary, or one artifact loot pack. Come on! Boom! Ugh. That is like all we've been getting in our artifact or legendary loot bags. We've been getting Elementium. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Hopefully Akumadori has better luck with hers. And, oh, look at that. We're out of, out of sulfur again, I bet. Uh, So you're okay to have some, so we'll do um, and we'll give you a three thirty. Yeah, that's about right, about two-thirds to the one that has two lines and about one-third to the one that has one line. I'll grab the sulfur from here. about 15, you're at 13, you're almost at 94, 65, 11, 7, are you getting caught up? Yes, you're caught up. So you're down here probably not caught up. No. But I'm going to have to probably turn you on again. So that I can turn you on again. We'll keep our fingers crossed that can keep going. That's back to 8,000. You're still at 6. You're up to 4. And... Oh, that's right! Your pick is still over there getting healed! I forgot all about that! This is why we do our nightly inspection before we sign off the stream, folks. Because we don't want to forget something as important as... Somebody doesn't have their pickaxe for the night. Good grief. It's like I was telling, um, who was I telling? I was telling somebody at the beginning of the stream, um, one of the refinements to this system that, um, District uses is his pickaxe cycles through the, um, a diamond anvil to get healed like all the time so his pickaxe never needs to go to the diamond anvil for an extended heal um, like mine do so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and go ahead and heal it before we sign off just because it's literally under a hundred durability. It's practically gone. Oh, 
Might as well go ahead and get it healed up while we can. <sighs> but yeah, I think before the next time I turn the reactor on, I want to see... I want to see about upgrading the battery, which means I have to increase those support structures on the side. Um, so that, that'll be a thing. Um, there's so many updates. I, this is meant to be a sulfur farm, so I need to make a bunch of sulfur seeds and add the sprinklers and add the apiaries and the... And the uh, harvester and the whole nine yards so that I can have a an ongoing source of sulfur here in house besides the cloche haven't got that done yet eleven eight I, I mean, that's, that's 12,000, almost 12,000 blocks, and it's only been up and running since, what, six-ish? And it still has 70,000 to process. Redstone only has 7,500, so that one's definitely going to need to be recharged. Diamond's out again. Let's go to Twilight. And I should have a builder number two. You're done? doing if you're done I can just take you home um, that one run and then we have more diamond here oh 66.92 yeah I'd say we have some diamond here yeah I'd say I'd say the Builder, builder collection versus changing the void ore miner. Uh, void ore miner is winning, winning, winning. Like by a flipping mile. Not, not even, it's not even close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the diamond. So 
that it gets added to what I just brought. Oops. So it gets added to what I just brought back from the twilight. And then we'll see how much this gets built up just overnight. The idea is I want to be able to deposit just a massive amount of ores so that I'm not shuttling them back and forth like this as often. Um, oh yeah, 9,000. I mean, this one's still got 31,000 to process. This one still has 7,500 to process. This one is still at 70,000. This one was down to, down to 93,000. I mean, it's, it's obscene, the level of ores that I am processing through the pickaxes. But, basically then what will happen is by the time they run out of what's here, they'll have restocked back in the basement, and I can bring the new bin, swap it for the old bin, let the old bin restock while the new one processes. The only one I'm having trouble with that doing is diamond. So my hope is now that I have switched the lens on the void ore miner, I can now be pulling in diamond ore at a fast enough rate that I can, I can build up an amount like that. The trick's going to be what, what do I do when emerald runs out? You know, am I building up enough emerald while it's processing that great big amount? Uh, where is emerald? See, emerald right now only has 1,018. There's virtually no emerald coming in because I've redirected it now to be diamond. So it's like, I'm going to get to the point where I'm flush with diamond ore to process, and now I'm out of emerald to process. So I switch the lenses over, then I'll have the emerald coming in, then I'll run out of diamond. Come on. I will give it credit, this thing does go pretty lickety split fast. And I'm really glad that that unusing prevents it from breaking. So that is a non-issue, don't have to worry about it. Now, Emerald, I know, spawns in the overworld. But when I tried to use the builder before to mine Emerald, it was not being cooperative. So I may have to try setting that up again later to see if I can get Emerald to come through and for me. All right. There you go. Okay, so you're going. You have a nice full health. You have about half a health. You still have plenty of health. And you still have plenty of health. We're good. Everybody's good on health. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take these down and... why the 
pauses like that. It's really weird. I don't know why they're all going down here. Twelve thousand blocks just tonight. That is just crazy. Okay, I think we have everybody good. We're sulfured. Everybody is sulfured. We are good. We can put those things away. Put this away. Put that away. And I can go add another. Well, thank you so much to everybody for joining me in tonight's stream. We got a new follower. We had some new people chatting, which was awesome. So glad to have everybody here participating. That was great. So I'm Katiana. This has been Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shells. We had an extra long stream today, six hours. Lots of progress made. Two quests in the space quest line. We got a quarter of the Draconian Infusion uh, infuser upgrades done. We will keep working on that. We added the magma infuser to our blood infuser automation process. That is a nice step forward in keeping that thing going and producing all of those diamond promise acceptors. And we have our game plan for the next couple of days, what we're going to work on. I think I have a game plan for what Akumidori and I will work on this weekend and just taking it in small increments towards getting those infinity ingots. Looking at the great big picture is extremely overwhelming and then my mind just shuts off. So <laughs> I'm trying to just look at it in small little increments and piece by piece, what can we do to get to our end goal? So I think if I look at it that way and then work on scaling each piece that's going to get us there, eventually we will get there. But don't be surprised if there's a lot of really kind of not too exciting streams to not some, some very un, unexciting streams coming up where all we're doing is building machines and processing ores and sorting out stuff like that. Now there may be some good stuff. I am contemplating creating a second void ore miner down at bedrock to be another collector of additional ores. Um, I'm still pondering that because that's you know, a lot of resources to get another void or miner and upgrade it, um, you know, up to the tier five like I have now. That's a lot of work to get up to tier five, but to get the speed bonuses, the luck bonuses, and all of that stuff, you really need to be up in that tier five level. That's one option. I'm still contemplating it because that is a lot of work, but. It would be another option. 
and then we could customize the two lenses between the two to be bringing in specific ores. One could be doing diamond, the other one could be doing emerald, something like that. So just something is still, still thinking about. Thank you, Death Door. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you woke up in time that we could uh, have a little time together and that you got to hopefully see the uh, see the very cool crafting. I, I much prefer the instantaneous craft is done than waiting three hours. <laughs> that was that's definitely a major improvement. So I will be signing off tonight's six hour mega episode will be uploaded to YouTube where the entire archive of the series can be found under Katiana Swift Arrow. And I will be back tomorrow afternoon when I get back from the dentist. I'm going to have something to eat, get comfortable, and then we will have an extended stream where we're going to get that rocket done. And then we will continue working on these draconic infusers. So I am signing off. Everybody take care, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.